This space is very special to us in the School of Engineering. It recognizes the contributions of George Lowe to the Apollo uh, program to putting a man on the moon. It also has artifacts from his time at Rensselaer. Here is George Lowe's diploma from his bachelor's degree and diploma from his master's degree. One of the exciting things about being at RPI is the legacy that we have in space exploration left by George Lowe. George Lowe was given these awards in recognition of all that he did for human spaceflight. You know, the Apollo 11 mission is really one of the grandest examples of humankind's need to explore the unknown. And this footprint of an astronaut on the lunar surface reminds us that we were not only able to explore the lunar surface in person, but we were also able to retrieve samples from the moon and bring them back for further analysis. I was 13 years old when the landing took place and I watched it on TV in black and white with everybody else that I knew. And it showed me what science and engineering could do. And I wanted to be a scientist. This photo is iconic. It shows George Lowe as president of RPI kneeling down with a tray of donuts. Here he was, somebody who had been instrumental in putting man on the moon, and yet he never came across that way. When I think about George Lowe, I think about leadership. I think about setting big, bold vision, vision for NASA and the Apollo program, but also when he joined our Rensselaer, a big, bold vision for Rensselaer. Having George Lowe's papers and the, this museum of his accomplishments on campus to celebrate his being here, uh, both as a student and as a leader, is incredible. And the fact that his family would donate it, and they wanted it on display for the world to see, well, it's right here, world.